better flexibility than most people that have been training cup weight four times a week and I haven't gone in four months. Mm -hmm. So I don't really care about you know these people that, that talk about that, only because usually the people that are skeptics about these type of things, they haven't done them. But they, they've done them, or, but they haven't really investigated it mm -hmm. and look at it. My take is, is so many people have done it. There's so many things online, all these testimonials. You think there's one guy out there lying, you know, writing all these testimonials? So there is some benefit to it. You just got to know what to, what, to, what to expect and, um, and, and just know the basic physiology <laughs> behind it. So the bile, as many of you know as practitioners, basically is important for, obviously, fat metabolism, okay? It um, assists in peristalsis. It's like a liquid drain. It gets things through our intestines. But not a lot of practitioners know, and I don't know if they mentioned it in HLC2, or maybe they do, I haven't taken it in a while. But it helps get rid of bugs. It helps get rid of bugs from our intestines, right? And this is why Holga Clark, if you read any of her work, she'll say, you know, she has this thing about zapping, you know, zapping things, um, bugs. Uh, the important thing in her work is that the gallstones, they normally house parasites that get stuck in the sludge and they become gallstones. And when you get those stones out, you have to take them out because there might be parasites in them. I agree 120%, okay? Um, just because that's one of the bile's main functions that not too many people teach about or are aware of, that they, they literally get rid of bugs. Because we already know bile helps eliminate toxins from your digestive system, so it's so important. So if, you, if you're also aware of Chinese medicine, and when they think of liver pathology, one of the main things is liver stagnation, or qi stagnation, okay? So, if you go back into Western medicine, that makes sense. If your bile is stagnant, and if it hangs around for a while, or if it's not in proper balance with the cholesterol and the bile acids or whatnot, and they already have a stressed out liver, well, that bile's not gonna move. It's just gonna stay. And what happens to the mud when you stay? When it stays, it clumps up. And that's exactly what happens in the gallbladder. And it doesn't just collect in the gallbladder, it collects in the liver, because that's where it's produced. A lot of people think, Oh, how can this person have you know 200 stones in one flush? The, the gallbladder is the size of like this big. That's impossible. That's BS. But they don't realize a lot of those stones also come from the liver. <laughs> There's a lot of little tiny microtubule you know ducts inside the liver that go into the common into the duct that goes into the gallbladder. And the gallbladder, yes, yeah, where the storage point is in. But in the liver itself, there's there's a lot of spaces that could get um, like in the, like in your large intestine. There's a lot of spaces where fecal matter can get stuck. Same thing in your liver. So that junk gets stuck. So we got to flush it out, so to speak. We have to give the liver a break so that one, it can do all of its 500 functions or whatever it may be in one of these. Um, so that when it does secrete bile, the bile does flow through the intestinal tract. It does so that the bile can get rid of the toxins help with digestion. Um, 